The latest events surrounding James Corden's appropriately named The Life of Mine with James Corden Sirius XM program have me completely enthralled. The entertainment industry is clearly quite excited about the guests that will be appearing on the show. One name in particular has been making a lot of noise, Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, and her husband Harry, who some may even refer to as her puppet. James Corden, who is well known for his charm and wit, is set to take viewers on an exciting adventure as the host of a show in which he explores the personal lives of some of the biggest celebrities in the world. Here's where it becomes interesting, though, Scott Greenstein, president and chief content officer of Sirius XM, has sent out a strong warning, Meghan and Harry are not invited. Yes, Meghan won't be appearing on Corden's show anytime soon, despite her seeming desire to make her imprint in the spotlight. And why, one would wonder. Scott Greenstein, however, says that James Corden is a trailblazer, a tremendous talent, and he wants to pick his guests carefully. He doesn't want to invite anyone who could cause trouble, that is, he doesn't want Meghan and Harry attending, as they have, let's be honest, been at the center of a lot of controversy, particularly in relation to their relationships with the royal family. What's noteworthy about this situation right now is the conjecture over Meghan's possible affiliation with WME, William Morris Endeavor. It's no secret that Meghan has struggled to establish herself in Hollywood, and some have speculated that Serena Williams, who is signed to WME, may have done some scheming to win Meghan over. But why would WME take on an individual who is seen as a contentious character in the industry? Is it possible that Meghan, as Prince Harry has acknowledged, is willing to go above and beyond? According to some, Meghan may have used threats to maintain her position, which could harm Serena's reputation if things don't work out for her. After all, being blacklisted can have negative effects, and in Hollywood, reputation is everything. The problem is that James Corden and his group are resistant to being persuaded. They are astute enough to see past the smoke and mirrors, guaranteeing that there will be no drama on their show. Meanwhile, the Duke of Sussex has just been ridiculed for no longer being the cool one in a pond full of royal fish. These observations and claims have been made by body language expert Judy James. While starting off the conversation she pointed towards the shocking body language portrayed by the Duke of Sussex in his Katy Perry concert appearance. For those unversed, this appearance was during Perry's Las Vegas residency where she unveiled her daughter Dizzy Duck Bloom. According to Ms. James, Harry might like to relish his role as the cool one of the royal family but that is an extremely low bar and seeing him mingling in the world of Hollywood celebrity again here his body language does define him as the proverbial fish out of water. It was Celine Dion getting all the fuss and star treatment here, while Harry appeared to be queuing to walk past her. In the UK he would have never been upstaged or outranked by a celebrity. He almost looks uncomfortable or even shy in this type of environment, keen to look fun for Meghan but quietly possibly suffering inside too. While Meghan clearly enjoys the concert, smiling and getting up out of her seat to clap and dance, Harry's body language responses seem to fluctuate between extremes, as they did at the Beyoncé concert.